Welcome to Deep Thought. The world is about competing philosophies. And what do I mean, comp uh, philosophies? Philosophy is about schools of thought, how you think, or organize, uh, you know, pattern of thinking where people will follow it. If you really think about it, any thought pattern or anything where a critical mass of people come together and they follow it, that's a philosophy. That's, that's a school of thought. And honestly, religion, that's a school of thought. Yeah, I know people say, well, it's about worshiping God or whatever term someone wants to use for God, but it's, it's, the, it's the thought about how you worship that thing. It's a thought. It's a philosophy, you know? It's more about how you think. It's a pattern of thinking, you know? In uh, the U.S. political system, when you have people talking about progressives versus conservatives, those are both schools of thought. Those are both philosophies, you know? Or, you know, you got uh, conservatism, progressivism, progressivism, -ism. that's my word to trip over, uh, anarchism, you know, even some people talking about socialism and communism, all of those are schools of thought. Veganism, that's a school of thought. Let me talk about that because it's deeper than, it goes across, just philosophies go across anything. It's an ism as to how people are going to do some, a group of people will do some. Like veganism, that's a philosophy. That is a philosophy of how people are going to eat, you know, the foods they're going to eat, the clothes they're going to wear, how they're going to live their lives. Right, and you know, there's, I'm a, at least thousands, maybe tens of thousands of philosophies. You know, some are major, some are controlling whole regions, whole countries, uh, and some it might just be the philosophy of a particular family. You know, you have one family. You know, their philosophy is to work, work, work. The other philosophy of another family might be to. <laughs> Uh, get as much money off the state as possible and not work. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's different. It's how people do stuff. And here's the thing, though. When you really think about it, the world is a place of competing philosophies because usually what happens is when you have one critical mass of people that follow a certain philosophy, they want to impose their thoughts on everyone else to the greatest extent possible. Because they, everyone feel like their way of thinking, their philosophy is the superior one. No, it's just different. To say it's superior than that, um, you know, it's hard to judge that. It really is. But regardless, people will still say, well, mine is better, mine is better. And see, it comes down to stuff. Let's use a political thing, the conservatism versus uh, progressivism. Uh, the thing with that is... You know, it's two philosophies, so people, they doing what they can in a political arena, uh, you know, even a personal arena on enforcing that because it's a way of life. It's how people going to look at stuff. And I'm going to tell you what, what's deep, the world is increasingly becoming more about competing philosophies than even the state system. Because the state system, I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take, but because of how intertwined we are in the world now, where you have multinational corporations that cross state barriers, um, you never know when it'll get to the point when it'll just be about which philosophy is the most dominant. Like, I was thinking about, um, I had an idea for a science fiction novel where the nations were just gone. It was one big world, but you still had competing groups, philosophies. Some groups control, you know, some groups would control a whole lot of land. Some groups would just be flowing in and out, stuff like that. And, you know, it's an interesting dynamic because if you even, um, like, if anybody pay attention, you can see it. Sometimes it could be, you know, the philosophy could be, like, in the business that you're working in. Like different businesses have different philosophies how they're going to do stuff, and it actually reflects in the type of people that they hire. And you know how I flow on this channel. We just go with it. We go, we go in that uh, stream of thought. We just go with it. Because I was thinking about how I was peeping. Um, like there's a um, particular store. I ain't going to call their name. But uh, my son likes to go into, my youngest son. And I, I notice no matter where I go into the store, all the people who work there look the same. I was like, you know, what's the odds? Like, you talking like stores that 
you know, branches of the store or um, locations that are like 50 miles apart, yet the people look the exact same way. And I was like, okay, that's the philosophy. Or like um, another small example, when I go into a restaurant or something, I just look at the, I really do look at the people. Like I can tell the philosophy of a male loner when I look at the women who work there. <laughs> and that's how deep it is because even there's even sexual philosophies. Or, you know, some people identify me as a dating coach on my men's thing, even though I'm just like, yeah, whatever. But that's a philosophy. That's a philosophy. You know, people talking, arguing about uh, cold approach versus choosing signals. Those are philosophies. And so you have a ton of them here. And, you know, and you do get some people, organized group of people who they develop a philosophy and they really conquer a lot. Let's look at uh, like a lot of political philosophies. You know, if you look at fascism, that's a philosophy. Nazism was a philosophy. Communism, um, you know, liberalism, conservatism, you know, corporatism. Those are philosophies. Because understand something about human beings. A lot of people like pointing out, you know, our animal nature, and animal nature is very much there, but society is created by people who think, who decide something. Now, they might be being influenced by the animal nature, but it still ultimately comes down, what do they think and what are they doing? And then when you get, when you start getting a group of people together who think the same thing, it could change a whole lot. It can influence it. I mean, you can even influence whole neighborhoods, whole countries, everything. And it's, it's, a, it's a fascinating thing to think about, you know. It was interesting. You know, I start, first started seeing stuff like this uh, when I was in high school and college. I actually had, took philosophy courses, you know. And I even knew some. It's just really thinking. Everything comes down to the mind, you know, everything, how we do stuff. It could be a philosophy, how people organize, do their architecture, how they... Uh, have the streets set up and everything, everything, you know. Even um, you know how we run the economy. If you look at the eco- economists, they all have different philosophies. And what we have in the world now is uh, people competing, different philosophies competing. Some you know some are you know some people practice might be in a position to. Uh, you know, enforce their will on um, others. Man, it's interesting. It's something to think about. It's something to really think about. Because I do see a future where it's not about the states or anything. It's about competing philosophies and who's dominant at what particular time. Hmm, something to really think about. So anyway, I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.